What's up everyone, this is Maggie MH. I'm here with Hairbrand Official and I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite techniques. Um, one of them is gonna be a disheveled curled look that I like to do. Before I start curling, I'm actually gonna prep her hair with the soft texture. And the reason why is because it's gonna give me a really nice velvety shine. It's gonna help the flat iron glide through her hair a lot easier. And then I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and I'm gonna wave, let it cool off, curl, wave, curl. So you're mixing in two different types of curl patterns within each other and it creates a really fun, messy look. When you're trying to execute a look like this, it's really important that when you're using the flat iron, you let each section kind of have a little bit of time to cool so it will prevent the hair from stretching and losing its bend. Because when the hair is hot, it's still shaping. So you wanna let it cool down before you go in and do your next move. Also, when you're using the flat iron, you wanna make sure that you're not using too much tension because when you're curling, this could cause pulling on the hair. So just let it glide right through. And we're basically just gonna repeat the exact same thing. However, we're gonna section out the front because we're gonna treat that differently than this pattern. So now I'm gonna go into the section that I kept separate. And the reason why I'm treating these as two different sections is because I wanna create more of a curl in the front of the face. It's gonna look really clean and put together. And also she has a lot of layers around her face. So this is gonna be a really nice way to accentuate that. And I'm just gonna do a really loose, quick wave. And I'm gonna give it a stretch. And now that I'm getting up towards the bangs, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna keep the heat at the base of the hair for longer and then pull through the ends quickly. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a tighter curl up at the top so that she gets that nice lift in her bangs and then the ends are gonna be nice and loose. Comb this bang section out and clip it in to set. What this is gonna do is it's gonna create that super on-trend, pinched look in the front with a lot of volume at the base, but loose on the ends. Okay, now that I let this cool for about five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna remove my little clips, and now I'm gonna go in with my Osis Texture Craft, saturate the underneath, and then the top layer. You'd never wanna brush or comb through a look like this because you want it to be really PC. So I'm actually just gonna go in with my hands and give it a good shake. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tame Wild. I'm just gonna use a dime size amount. I'm gonna rub it around so it's all over my hands so I can get a good distribution of it. And it has a really good hold, but it's not really heavy. So it's gonna create some pieciness for me without it being sticky. And it's also gonna add a little bit of shine. Now I'm gonna go in with my final product, which is my Thrill, one of my favorite products. A really small amount here. Rub it onto the tips of my fingers. And then I'm gonna use it to tame any of the flyaways on her fringe and bring the look together and add a little bit of hold to this area as well. If any of you follow me, you know that I love photography and I put a lot of work into my finishing touches for my photos. So I'm gonna give you just a quick tip for how I make the hair look really thick and really voluminous in front of the camera. So I'm just gonna take the top and spread it out, motion like this, bounce the hair, Pick it up, bounce it, grabbing sections, spreading them out. When I'm taking photos, I like to take a lot actually because I like to have a really good variety. I don't just settle with one angle. I like to move my camera around and make sure that I'm getting a lot of options so that I can have a lot of content going forward. I can have like three different posts from this photo session and spread them out and I can figure out which angle looks best for her style that I did. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you try this look, be sure to tag me at MaggieMH so that I can see your beautiful work.